So thanks so much for on this video. My name is 4K Films. I'm still wondering if I'm dreaming right now. If this is all a joke, I'm gonna wake up very soon and go. <laughs> Sony didn't really just announce a Spider-Man Luchador movie, R right? Right, oh no, oh no. But we're gonna be talking about that along with so much more because Sony just went ahead and had their CinemaCon panel where they revealed some of their upcoming projects for the coming years and some of it really exciting, looking forward to it. Others, I was like, I'm still processing it, man. I'll be leaving timestamps in the description if there's a story you want to skip around to, but I will wanting to be hearing from you guys out there. What was your favorite thing announced at the CinemaCon panel, what were you you most flabbergasted about? We still have an entire week left of other studios presenting stuff. I doubt anything will bring me such shock like a Spider-Man Luchador movie. Okay, so let's start things off here. Real quick before I jump into stuff, I really want to talk about here Sony kicked off their CinemaCon panel with showing the first 15 minutes of their upcoming action thriller, Bullet Train. This is a David Leach directed movie we've already gotten the trailer for it and it's it's start studded cast was with so many great actors involved and the basic con concept from th these 15 minutes is that the movie looks awesome filled with so much color really seems like it'll be a good fun time i've seen a lot of people compare the action sequences to what happens in the john wick franchise but overall that's just really fun and they can't wait to see the rest of this thing then attendance at CinemaCon were t treated to a trailer for Vilo Davis new story epic the movie is called the woman king and it's inspired by the realist the real historical events that took place in Africa during the 18th and 19th century where a group of women warriors fought for their survival the trailer is described to be very brutal looks action-packed and like this could be a movie up for oscars con uh, contention i love vilo davis as an actress so i'm for sure gonna be checking this out for her and this sounds exciting but after they finished with those two things quickly moved on the sony spider-man universe and what they have up and coming people were wondering will they announce more beast 2 you know will they give us more details on craven the hunter maybe some footage then the world was shocked and in utter disbelief when sony decided to announce a movie called El Morto starring Bad Mudney as luchador character that appears in a Spider-Man comic for like one series. They even went ahead and gave this movie's release date of January 2024 since this was a character I had never heard of in Spider-Man canon. Like a lot of people out there doing my research on the character, it basically is about this family legacy of Lugitors who all wear this magical mask that grants them with enhanced abilities like endurance and basically just being the ultimate wrestler. The caved, the caved to having this mask is that it's passed down generation by generation and to earn the title of the mask you must fight this demon called Eldardo and once you have defeated this uh, demon you have earned the right to wear the mask only problem is Almarto, the la latest one up to earn the mask, decided he didn't want to fight in a battle running away and instead getting his father killed in the crossfires. This is then where El Dardo felt bad for the kid, gave him a 10 year chance to find a worthy opponent that he can unmask in the ring, granting him unworthy of the luchador mask and as luck would have it, 10 years that fighter would eventually fight spider-man and come really close to unmasking peter parker however he is unsuccessful but spider-man does later help him fight Eldardo and earn the title of this mask that i just described to you is what sony red looked at and said get bad bunny on the phone right now you guys know here on the channel 
I want to be the most optimistic I can be. Like, I just want to, like, celebrating, uh, celebrating movies, looking forward to stuff. I never want to be the guy that just hates on things to hate them. But when I hear they're making this kind of movie in the Spider-Man universe, just leeching off Spider-Man himself, it kind of infuriates me because, and it just makes me go, Sony, what are you doing? And, it, and don't get me wrong, this has nothing to do with Bad Bunny. I like some of the guys' songs when they come on on the radio i'll be singing heck he even has a background in showing up in some wwe events and it's also said he does a great job in that bullet train movie which granted him the the job of this film so i could care less that it's a it's a bad bunny what i care about right now is the fact that this is a movie about a dang wrestler that shows up in a few comics has very little history and is going to be given his his own movie this will be the first his Hispanic lead character in the Spider-Man universe when you have Miles Morales is right there not in live action Miguel O'Hara right there not in live action why is this the character you chose to be given that spotlight and not move your Sony universe forward I never want to be that person saying this movie's a cash grab because guess what every film in existence is a cash grab the whole purpose of a movie is to make money but this is this right here is one of those rare occasions where i can't help it but look at this movie and say that is a cash grab this is just sony's grabbing a mega celebrity like bad bunny attaching the spider-man ip to him and knowing they will make so much money because idiots like me and fans of bad bunny will see him this film i can't lie and say that i'm excited for this or looking forward to this movie i will promise i'm gonna give it a chance be as optimistic as possible but as of right now i feel like this is just gonna be one big joke and i don't find it that funny sony i really want to hear from you guys what do you think about this movie being made from their sony move uh, on and discussed to talk and decided to talk about spider-man across the spider-verse now the last time we we had heard about this movie Movie. unfortunately it delayed it to 2023 now we kind of have a good idea why they went ahead and did that we had phil lord and chris miller the people attached spider-man across the spider-verse kind of talking about the movie and they mentioned that they have over a thousand people working on spider-man across the spider-verse which right now holds the record for more for most animators working on an animated movie we've also heard that this movie would be jumping into a bunch of different spider-man universes and they confirmed that it will be six different universes that we'll see in the movie each one with its own different art style and that the film is slated to have 240 characters in total when the first spider-verse movie only had 40 characters now that doesn't mean every single one of those characters are gonna be spider-man characters but i bet you a good chunk of them are now along with this now along with this they all also went ahead and showed them them the first 15 minutes of the movie and i have here a full description of what happened so buckle up in and get your imaginary thoughts ready going because i'm going to be reading it and hopefully you can create a picture this is going down in your head we have to we have it here earth 65 gwen stacy spider-man woman sneaks through a window of her apartment building her father captain george stacy is doing dishes we caught a break in the spider-man case he says a hostage situation at the gun of the museum the vulture he speaks italian his dialogue is style sub subtitles subtitles da vinci style gwen quips he's a renaissance man he has a lethal claws a 40 foot uh, wingspan of a razor blade sharp wings and modern weaponry like drones gwen suits up and swings into action spider gwen versus vulture in the museum vulture pins her and is about to cut her to shreds this is the dumbest way to die suddenly a multiverse portal opens a red glowing web shoots out and leaps spider-man 2099 from earth 928 9298 sorry she asks if he's the blue panther the the blue panther he's from another dimension spider-man spider woman and a 90 and the 99 double team vulture and 99 brutal killing 
asks Layla, he, his quirky virtual assistant, send back, send backup. He grumbles again, call for backup. Jessica Drew, the Spider Woman, rides out the portal, and on a super spy motorcycle, she wears a spy like suit of red and black. Gwen notices her big belly. Drew proudly says she's five months pregnant. Outside, 99 wrestles with Vulture up in the air in, sh in the shadows. He bears his Spider Man teeth, um, uh, his spider like teeth, almost like a vampire. They're in interrupted by po a police helicopter. The Vulture knocks it out of the sky. It falls, tumbling towards a crowd of un lookers below when miguel and drew race into action gwen does a dazzling dizzy move as she leaps over the chopper spinning a web to catch the helicopter miguel andrew helps slow its descent with webs together the trio catches the cop the chopper in a web just before it crash crushes the people below in the wreckage in the wreck wreckage gwen stumbles exhausted she tries to catch her breath when a shadowy figure sneaks up behind her it's her father gun drawn you are under arrest for the murder of peter parker trapped spider gwen unmasked to reveal the shadow face of gwen stacy i thought about telling you uh, telling telling you referring to her secret identity then she says about peter i didn't know it was him i'm not a murderer i'm your daughter captain stacy reads her rights she's under arrest miguel saves her with a futuristic device that temporarily traps uh, captain stacy in a force field bubble saying She's upset Drew doesn't have one doesn't want to leave Gwen behind as Miguel opens a portal. Miguel gives her Miguel gives her a temporal a temporal wrist device. Gwen looks at it concerning going with them. We cut to Brooklyn Earth 610 miles is spiding around and having a blast but he's late his parents meet with the guidance counselor something triggers m his spider sense miles makes an excuse and rushes out your son is lying to you, the guidance counselor tells miles his mom and i know you know it. okay I know that was a lot of reading there, but hopefully you can um, you can make a picture a lot of that in your mind and I gotta say, it sounds amazing. A lot of this stuff, they're being very faithful to the comics. With, like, the whole Gwen or Stacy origin. Because if you didn't know in her timeline, she accidentally kills Peter Parker, who is the lizard. And I'm assuming the rest of the world thinks that so. That's why her father had to put her under arrest. Now that they finally caught her. Also, can we talk about Jessica Drew being part of this? But I think it's also so interesting to figure out that she's going to be pregnant throughout the movie. What kind of sig significance will that have? Why did they? decide to make spider woman uh, jessica drew pregnant in the movie but in that this sounds really good and i can't wait to see the entire thing continuing on with spider verse they also revealed the title for the third spider verse movie the movie will now be titled spider man beyond the spider verse and look i don't want to get into any wild theories or start putting stuff in your head that might not be true but when you're thinking beyond the spider verse does that mean the third spider verse movie will be live action and we'll see smiles crossover into the real world maybe have a little fun with tom holland toby andrew i mean that's just me guessing what else could be on the spider verse i mean they are already doing the multiverse so what is what is more beyond the multiverse it should be noted that the movie is set to release march of 2024 only a year after the second movie that's exciting i need you guys' theories to what you think about beyond the spider verse could mean from their sony showed a quick sizzle reel to a bunch of their upcoming movies and there was just a lot of stuff in there for some of their general films but people did catch a couple of seconds for craven the hunter so we do have here a minor description for craven the hunter footage one they say they got the footage of craven the hunter on a truck where he's smashing the window We've actually got the behind the scenes footage before. I've shown it here on the channel. The people at CinemaCon just got the actual footage that they captured with cameras. They also said there's a sequence where Craven the Hunter is seen running through snow. So you can expect some snowy sequences with Aaron Taylor Johnson right before ending the panel. They also went ahead and confirmed Venom 3 is a go and they will be working on that film and feel like that was a no-brainer. Of course, that was going to be happening. Unfortunately, 
they really didn't give any other information about the Venom f- movie. But if you remember the last movie, they basically hinted at Toxin being the villain or maybe a friend to Venom in the next movie. So that's the direction you can see them heading in. The other than that, man, I don't know what they do for the third m- film because Toxin is great and all but... I don't think he's a big enough draw like Carnage was. This movie, I was really hoping for it to be Venom vs. Spider-Man. But I don't know if it's going to end up being that. But the other thing I was really excited to hear about is that they that they did Sony confirm will be making a, go- a sequel to Ghostbusters Afterlife. Again, no, con- no contract details or certain details. It was just something that they said before the panel ended that they were working on another Ghostbusters movie. But i can pretty much assume with the success and that that cast they had a lot of those original people will be coming back like jason reitman i think the final uh, the finale of ghostbusters afterlife set up a really well uh, for a traditional ghostbusters movie and i think they have a lot of potential with this maybe you can show the kids reopening the ghostbusters shop and just helping people out with their ghost problems but that is everything sony revealed in their CinemaCon panel. I want to know how you guys feel about all of this stuff. Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. The Ghostbusters Afterlife. How do you guys feel about Venom 3 being confirmed? How do you feel about literally everything in general? Anything and everything down comments below. As always on 4K Films. And take care.